How's it going everyone, it's Javi from Weather Sponge 5000 and in this video we're going to focus on Invest 99L which has a higher possibility of developing into Tropical Storm Danielle within the very near future and we'll also talk about the possibility of Tropical Storm Earl developing in the main development region by next week. But before I begin, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather content. So let's begin by taking a look at the 5 day graphical tropical weather outlook and we do see here is Invest 99 L with which now has a higher possibility of developing compared to yesterday where the chance was low now the chance has risen to more of a moderate chance where we have a moderate chance within the next 48 hours so in the very near future we could potentially see a tropical depression or tropical storm develop somewhere in the southern Gulf of Mexico and through the next five days the chance is still remaining at a medium chance however if this were to develop it will likely develop sometime this weekend as this won't have a lot of time before this makes landfall most likely somewhere along the Mexican coast so if this were to develop it should develop maybe with as early as tomorrow or even a little bit after that as it seems like the um that most likely its highest possibility of developing will be very early on within the five day time frame so that's something something to keep in mind along the coast of Mexico that you could experience a tropical storm way sooner than you'd expect now let's take a look at what the computer models are stating and we have receipt and we have seen a trend of some differences associated with some of the computer models regarding the future of um, invest 99 l and uh, as based on the latest run of, of the european model now the european model is developing low pressure system just off the mexican coastline where we do see this small um broad low pressure system developed just off the coast and of course we do see a decent amount of convection around it now this is definitely different from what we saw yesterday where the convection didn't necessarily bring as much heavy rain and we didn't really see the isobars um, um, look more circular which would show that there's at least a uh, area a uh, well-defined area of low pressure right around where this convection is located now we do see that a little bit which is part of the reason why the national hurricane center has risen the possibility that tropical storm danielle does develop and you see that by saturday it's pretty much going to be hugging the mexican coast all this convection and if i were to continue to move forward this should make landfall sometime i'd say right around late saturday into early um on sun very early on sunday and then pretty much fizzle out as this heads um northwestward into the higher elevations of Mexico and eventually into Texas so this won't have a long lasting future so pretty much within the next I'd say 60 hours that's when there that's pretty much a time frame when tropical storm Danielle could develop so that's something something to keep in mind but in terms of impacts whether this develops or not in terms of impacts Mexico should experience um we should you guys should experience an enhanced amount of rainfall not much in terms of wind or storm surge of course since even if this does develop it'll primarily be most likely a weak tropical storm so that's something something to keep in mind but Mexico and even some portions of southern Texas should still be aware of the possibility of enhanced rainfall into this weekend. So keep that in mind. Um, in terms of what the GFS model is stating, really the GFS model isn't forecasting much at this point. Not really much different from yesterday. We still do see that era of convection, but that we don't see a well-defined low pressure system like the European or as a uh, low pressure that's as well defined enough as the European model so the GFS model is less lenient on developing tropical storm Danielle but at this point the chance is around moderate but whether this develops or not just be aware of some maybe gusty winds and some enhanced rainfall along the coast so keep that in mind along the coast of Mexico now in terms of other things that we're watching um, we're also paying very close attention to uh, the main development region where we will see a multitude of tropical waves come off the African coast 
over the next week or so and a little bit after that where if i were to continue move forward we were talking about this trough that had the possibility of developing into troublesome earl or danielle if this invest 99 l doesn't come for fruition we were talking about that possibility and that could happen as early as the early part of next week but it seems like that possibility had subs had sub has subsided significantly as the gfs model now isn't really developing much of anything which is a stark contrast compared to what we saw yesterday where we did see a form below press system develop off of this tropical wave as you see that this tropical wave is now expected to just fizzle out in the middle atlantic there's still un there's still uncertainty we could potentially see maybe a little bit more moisture and a little bit less stability by next week because of course a lot could change within the next six days but at this point the chance that tropical storm danielle or tropical storm earl develops in the main development region by the early part of next week is less likely however if we were to continue to move a little bit more forward than that um into late next week i'm talking about the next weekend next next weekend we could see that possibility of tropical storm danielle or earl with this next tropical wave coming off the african coast and if i were to continue to move even forward we see this so purchase system not only um not only attain tropical storm status but eventually hurricane status where we see the pressure drop significantly of course this is going extremely far out still a lot to iron out with the forecast we still need to determine how much moisture will be surrounding this solar pressure system as this heads further westward and of course how much upper level winds there will be at this point the main development region has primarily been light when it comes to upper level winds but it's just the amount of stability that's been inhibiting tropical cyclones from developing in the main development region over the past several days so it's only something we're going to need pay, to pay close attention to in terms of what the european model is stating the european model is definitely far less lenient on developing any sort of tropical storm um in the main development region we do see a low pressure system move through a tropical wave move through um in the early future by um this weekend but the european model is expecting that to fizzle out as it's just no match for the amount of dry air and this moisture just to the south of it is a little bit too far south and the uh, moisture is a little bit too broad to the point where not a lot of energy will focus in around the center of circulation which will reduce the amount of energy needed for a tropical storm to form right around the center of circulation so as a result it, um, the european model isn't forecasting anything in the near future and even in the long term future while we do see tropical waves come off the coast we still do see that the low pressures are very weak and there's so a lot of dry air it's going to have to contend with so as a result the chance that we'll see tropical storm danielle or earl has subsided um based on um today but what what the gfs model is still forecasting in the long term future it's at least something to be aware of because we're going to continue to see a multitude of tropical storms come off the african coast so it's definitely something we're gonna need to pay very close attention to over the next several days but i'll make sure to keep you guys updated regarding any sort of changes when it comes to the amount of dry air or wind shear that you should expect um in the main development region so i'll keep you guys updated regarding that and we do see that the wind shear for invest 99 l it's going to be very difficult for it to avoid that strong wind shear but there will be that small area associated with this upper level low where the wind shear is very light and that will be that would be invest 99's l opportunity to develop so that's something something to keep in mind and in terms of the main development region we will see a decent amount of wind shear at least early on when tropical waves first come off the african coast but it should subside as it heads further westward but of course the main issue is the amount of stability right now in the main development region preventing tropical storms from developing so we're going to need to see that change before we can confidently say there is a possibility um tropical storm danielle or earl will develop in the near future now taking a look at the water vapor energy here's invest 99l you see not much in terms of thunderstorm activity that is expected to increase as this heads for northwestward and of course we do see a decent amount of dry air in the main development region at this point um now moving forward to the wind shear map 
We do see a light amount of wind shear in the Gulf of Mexico right now. That wind shear will increase, but there still will be that small area where the Invest 9L could organize itself and really develop a well-defined center of circulation for this to develop into Tropical Storm Danielle. At this point, the chance is right around a moderate chance at this point. So it's only something to keep in mind. Now, taking a look at the ensemble members, we do see that both of the spaghetti models want to take a very weak tropical storm or very weak low pressure system making landfall along Mexico. So not much to worry about when it comes to wind or storm surge, but at least pay close attention to an enhanced amount of rainfall along the Mexican coastline. Now, taking a look at my overall forecast when it comes to the potential of tropical storm Danielle or Earl at this point, tropical storm Danielle, while the chance is more likely, it's still considered a moderate chance but whether this develops or not just be aware of enhanced rainfall along Mexican coast if this wants to develop it's going to need to avoid the wind shear that's going to be just to the east of it and of course avoid a lot of, um a, a lot of land interaction as this hugs the Mexican coast for this to have good possibility of developing which at this point it does have around a moderate chance of doing that and if we were to take a look further um, eastward we do see that there's that possibility of tropical storm Earl next week um, we're just gonna need to wait and see if the GFS model maintains its forecast that tropical storm Earl could develop by next weekend we're gonna need to see how much dry air there is really determine if that's a possibility but yeah guys I guess that's it for this video I think guys watch make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather it costs and I hope you guys have a good day.